thank you for coming today. Uh, I'm Yoshi Hiro Yono, my Atosita Kunitet. Uh, I'll talk about uh, integrated tray using Sparta IO tray for virtualization environment. And, um, this is today's agenda. Uh, first, I'll talk about uh, what integrated trays is, and then uh, I'll talk about the uh, architecture of uh, integrated trays. Uh, at that time, um, um, I talk about my first attempt, and that, but uh, this attempt was not uh, attempt uh, adopted as a result, and uh, and I'll talk about the current architecture, uh, which has uh, uh, four features, and uh, and uh, I'll conclude this presentation. First, I, I'll talk about uh, what the integrated trace is. Uh, integrate trace uh, is a trace merging system for virtualization environment. And integrate trace uh, uses F trace, uh, which is an in kernel, which is an in kernel tracer. Uh, if you use the application, use this trace merge interface. Uh, the tracing data is uh, also integrated. And trace CMD is a uh, common tool for F trace. The Integrate trace uh, merges multiple tracing data of, uh, of multiple guests and uh, the host. The, and the integrate trace merges tracing data in chronological order. Uh, who can benefit from this system? Uh, I think uh, cloud vendors, system vendors, uh, platform engineers, and developers can benefit from this system. So the, I, as I said, uh, uh, integrate trace for uh, virtualization environment, and uh, but, uh, it is uh, difficult to. Why do we need to merge tracing? Because uh, it is difficult to analyze performance uh, problem from the guest. For example, uh, it is on delay problem, uh, I of request on the guest. Uh, normally, a uh, guest and the host share hardware devices. Uh, CPU, some memory, uh, disk, uh, NIC, something like that, and uh, guest and the host, so the guest and the host can compete with each other for resources. Uh, this is very uh, in, uh, interesting point that uh, we need to analyze tracing data of multiple guests and the host, even if the problem occurred on a guest. Uh, this is an example. Uh, a guest occupies one CPU core, and the uh, real-time application on the guest is sometimes delayed, uh, but the memory is sufficient. The application does not issue any I.O. request, and uh, other applications are not scheduled at the same time. So the, uh, we replicated this problem in cyclic test, which is a uh, test program for real-time dependency. Uh, the command is like, like this. And the uh, procedure of cyclic test is uh, first uh, get current time on real-time cyclic test process A, and uh, number two, the nanosweep on A, and the context switch to another process B. Uh, it's a normally the idle process. And uh, after finishing switch time, we wake them up, A up. And then the context switch to A there and go back to first procedure. And next, uh, we define the wake up latency as follows, uh, like this expression. And uh, but sometimes the wake up latency becomes big on the gas. Uh, normally, uh, the wake up latency is about uh, 0 0.3 milliseconds, but sometimes uh, 3.5 milliseconds, so the, uh, we search this problem. Uh, this is uh, uh, trace data of uh, on, uh, only guess, only one guess, and uh, we set nano sweep time is uh, uh, two milliseconds, and uh, the blue case, blue box is uh, a normal case. The, the, the sweep time is about two milliseconds, but uh, uh, the for red case, it's anomaly case, is uh, about five milliseconds. Is this 
feedback. So the we start this problem. Yeah, so the uh, we adjust apply the integrate trace. Now uh, we set uh, the events uh, for these events for host OS, and uh, we set these events for the guest OS. Uh, I'll talk about this event uh, uh, later. And uh, we I mer we merge the trace data of the guest on the and the host. And then uh, when guest up wake up latency becomes too late, or uh, what would happen? Now for easy analysis uh, understanding, uh, we use the time doctor, which is a, a visualizing tool for trace executions. Uh, we set, uh, uh, I, I said, uh, we set a down switch time of two milliseconds. Uh, if down switch time exceeds two milliseconds, the color will be yellow, like this, and normally blue. And uh, Normally the two millisecond is blue, but uh, the anomaly case is for five millisecond is uh, yellow. And, uh, and uh, in the from this picture, the, the, the reason why the, the delay is uh, uh, induced by the host OS. So the, uh, I, I show the, the details in the from the trace data. The, the green box is a uh, host OS uh, trace data, and uh, the, the G is a guest OS trace data. And uh, the, in the host trace data, the, I, the flash process uh, takes two times uh, 3.3 milliseconds. So the, uh, we switch this the flash process to another CPU with the performance is not needed. And, but uh, we set up uh, integrate, uh, integrate trace using specific tools. And uh, we collect trace data via network by using specific tools. Now, my trace data with our script, uh, make time doctor format, which is an individual format. And uh, but the integrate trace is using F trace. And the uh, trace family has a lot of features uh, collecting trace data in the row overhead, analyze through kernel check. So the, uh, we thought the improving feature of trace family is good. So the, I talk about the architecture of integra integrated trace using trace family. Uh, I first, I talk about my first attempt. But, uh, we did not adopt this uh, method as a result. Uh, the use, uh, we use a trust agent supported from 3.6. Trust uh, agent is stored in this path, and uh, trust agent sends trace data from uh, F trace buffer to buffer your tier by using sprite. Uh, F trace supports sprite read with F of tier, and buffer tier supports sprite write, and so the the trace agent using sprite uh, uh, cannot, uh, sorry, uh, trace agent uh, using sprite uh, don't need to, uh, ah, sorry, uh, trace agent uh, can send uh, the, to the, trace agent can send the trace data of the guest to the host without memory copying by using sprite. <coughs> and we renamed this system is uh, Bataille Trace. And uh, we added uh, a night database server feature to Trace Agent. Uh, uh, also, Trace TMD records trace data as a binary. Uh, trace TMD needs debug SS information in order to convert binary data to physics data. Uh, in order to uh, read debug SS information, of the guest on the host, uh, the host mounts debug SS uh, of the guest on the host V90. Uh, this is the overview of my first attempt. A trust agent has uh, uh, two big features, a 90SS server and a trust read write. And uh, then the trust TMD uh, 
access the debug FS, uh, debug FS of the guest via 90FS client, and, uh, and then the trace CMD record trace data uh, as a binary file. But uh, this is uh, not a good design, unfortunately. Uh, this is because uh, a lot of small packets uh, exchange between 90FS client and 90FS server in the short time. Uh, though then hundreds of packets load uh, by just using uh, the ls command on the file system. And, uh, and so the, it induces a lot of memory popping, a lot of guest host switches. And so the, uh, uh, we should not use 90FS in order to get debug FS information. So the let's redesign. Uh, the, I said, as I said, uh, uh, the main disadvantage is the excessive small packet exchange between guest and the host. So the we need debug, but we need debug FS information on the guest. The, the trace CMD already has the feature which trace CMD server uh, collects debug FS information and the trace data from another machine client via network. So we reuse this feature, and uh, trace team uses price, and when it for collects trace data on the machine, okay, so we learn not trace agent, but trace team client on the guest for virtualization environment. This is the desired architecture of integrated trace. First, trace team client uh, uh, communicates with the trace team server. And then the uh, trace CMD client sends the trace data uh, via uh, butter SQL. And then trace CMD server output binary file. And then the uh, trace CMD uh, merge trace data, this data. First, uh, I talk about this uh, uh, trace CMD client uh, sends, the, sends the trace data of the guest to trace CMD server. The server and the client, uh, uh, the, the first implement improvement is server and client for virtualization environment. Trace CMD has the sending trace data uh, feature via network. Uh, for example, the uh, trace CMD record, M, uh, record with M option. So the, this is a client and uh, trace CMD with, in, with P option. So it is, this is the server. And uh, using network will be a high cost operation because uh, there are uh, many IP networks stuck with us uh, like this. And so the we can use battery trace system from kernel 3.6. Uh, battery trace system uh, sends trace data of, of the guest to the host by using sprite with uh, FOP sphere via butter SQL. And so the uh, trace CMD uh, does not need to pass uh, uh, IP network stack layers by using butter SQL. And uh, if the client uh, of the guest uses butter SQL, the server also needs to port the uh, butter SQL interface. I sent up uh, the uh, patches uh, in this uh, in this address. The uh, how to use uh, ISPP, and uh, I measured uh, the CPU usage of trace CMD client on the guest. And uh, the for when we use the network, the client uh, the CPU usage is about 2.9 percent. But uh, when we use the butter address. The, the client the client CPU usage is about 1.7 percent so the overhead of battery trace is lower than that of network and uh, second uh, I'll talk about this uh, uh, message the the second improvement point is structured message corruption 
uh, uh, client clients uh, ser and server are using network uh, sends uh, or receives unstructured string string message. But uh, it is hard to add complex contents in the protocol. Make the client machine change the events or make the client machine get pressure from natural buffers or things like that. So the uh, I, 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 I implemented structured message platform and I can purchase the I change the message of network and then introduce client server which uses uh, battery cell for virtualization environment. When I sent uh, RFC packet, Steven said, uh, I'm a speaker for backward compatibility. So the first packet uh, was uh, rejected. Uh, as he mentioned, the message of network uh, in my first packet do not keep backward compatibility. And uh, Trace family must support all clients and server even if uh, we introduce the structured message. So, but now, the, the in this party, the new old clients can connect to the old new or new servers by keeping backward compatibility. Now, in this in this platform, the the trace family supports eight messages, connection messages, connection cross message, and initial message, and send direct access information and finish to send it and the error message. Uh, the other message will be implemented in the near future. Next, I'll talk about this first TMD client again. The third improvement point is the agent feature of client. Uh, current client can operate only in record mode. So the the, the client will send uh, a press data immediately when run. And uh, so when a user tries to connect press data of multiple guests from the host, the user must log in to the each guest. So the client had better support the uh, agent mode which receives message from the server and take some action. For example, the the trace TMD uh, are waiting the for message from the server, and the trace TMD server uh, send a message. For example, the uh, please send trace data, and then the trace TMD receives the, the message and the take action. Then in this example, the send trace data to the server. Uh, I'm developing this agent feature, so the interface may change. It's, uh, First, run trace TMD with part agent on the guest, and the host user can send commands to the server which we send communication message to the agent. And maybe the guest user can also communicate with the agent with the same format. And uh, oh, finally, the I talk about the margin trace data feature. The, the fourth improvement is the margin of virtualization environment uh, trace data in chronological order. Uh, current trace TMD can merge multiple trace data uh, if trace TMD records trace data with stage option. And for machine A one, a trace TMD record write this command, and then the machine two uh, uh, execute this command, and then trace TMD report uh, this with this command, and then the uh, the trace one dot and trace two two dot uh, will be merged. And the state option records the overall talk in trace dot. Trace dot is the output file of trace TMD and with uh, get time of day. And but the uh, uh, time of those machines uh, must be in sync by MPP. But, uh, uh, the this. Uh, date option has uh, two problems to apply it for uh, virtualization environment. Uh, first, uh, there are no guarantee that guests have the same work up. Uh, when we when when the multiple get users can run on the virtualization environment, for example, the multiple tenant cloud hosting service, 
uh, they will use the defined NPP server, right? And uh, first, the second point is first data cannot be perfectly merged. The NPP synchronized time guarantee may not be full enough for serving get host switching event. So the, uh, we think uh, PHP is useful for merging. And Express supports x86 PHP uh, timestamps from 3.8. And guess x can execute native RDTS instructions. And PHP of recent x86 CPUs is constantly implemented. So the we don't know, we don't worry about the pace of timestamps. And, uh, and uh, but the PHP uh, PHP value of guest is not equal to the PHP host, but the PHP host plus PHP offset. Now, when we merge first data using PHP, the PHP offset value uh, can share uh, stored in VMCS if needed. The the trace event uh, KVM right PHP offset uh, where I, I send the patch was uh, supported from 3.11, so this is uh, the new uh, features. And uh, the in the KVM right PHP offset event, the this, uh, this information will be outputted, average CPU and the previous time offset and uh, uh, sorry, previous PHP offset and the next PHP offset. Now, if the previous PHP offset is zero, it's an uh, it's an initial value, and uh, this is a new new uh, value of PHP offset. And uh, but the KVM right PHP offset is a very uh, normally a rare event. Uh, this event is uh, output when the guest root uh, PHP becomes unstable and PHP goes back. And uh, when we use the recent x86 CPUs, the reasons of the event may be root of the guest. Uh, when I, we, uh, when I use uh, uh, AMD CPUs, uh, the uh, PHP uh, will go back uh, uh, the, so the so this event will be the output, uh, a lot of the output, but uh, the maybe the recent uh, x86 CPUs, the, the reason is uh, maybe the, the guest root. And uh, TraceMD will enable the event in another buffer on the host. Uh, multiple buffers of FRS were supported from 3.10, and the TraceMD will output the result without consuming the data in the buffer when tracing it to trace trace data. Uh, the uh, trace data in the buffers are normally consumed when trace MD reads trace data because it uses trace pipe row. Trace pipe row is a, a consuming interface. So uh, I conclude this uh, presentation. Uh, Margin trace data of guests and the host is uh, important for analyzing any problems on guests. And uh, integrate trace uses following recent kernel features. F, uh, for FTRS, x86 PHP, and express read with seal, and but a share sprite light, and the KBM light PHP offset event, and the multiple buffers of FTRS. In order to realize the uh, integrate trace for trace MD, there are four improvements, uh, server and client for virtualization environment, structured message platform, agent features, uh, margin features. And uh, one and the two features uh, only already have been submitted to LKML, and but three and four will be submitted in the near the future. Okay, thank you. Any, any questions? Any questions? Okay, thank you.